Hi, what we're doing today is I'm doing the uh, part 5 of the Taurus fan install. And this is going to be the wiring diagram that you're going to need to do it. Um, you got your high speed relay, low speed, and if you have air conditioning, you're going to need another relay. Okay? And then you got your TS139 thermal switch, one that I described in the earlier videos using out of a Saab. Okay, um, the only other thing about this wiring diagram, this wire going to the high relay and this one going to the low need to be swapped. This one needs to be in this terminal over here and the other one over here. If you look closely at the, on the switch itself, you'll see a ground symbol. So make sure this one goes to ground. These are simply completing the ground and it turns on this your fans on high or low. Okay, um, using the Bosch style relays on all three of these, these two will be 80 amp. I'm using the, uh, I think it's pronounced Zettler, Z-E-T-T-L-E-R. And then another thing I've added here, uh, you want to put a diode on the low side with the band you see the on the band on the diode you want it facing toward the fan and what this does when low kicks off it discharges the coil on on this relay because otherwise what's happening is the fan is still spinning it acts as a generator and kind of hangs the contact open and when it finally lets go there's an arc and eventually it would burn out the relay so this helps keep the relay around a lot longer for many 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 years okay and that uh, item number for that diode is a I N five four zero eight uh, you can Google that. They're pretty easy to find. You shouldn't have to pay more than a couple bucks for them. Uh, these relays that I'm using, they're also not very expensive. They're only you shouldn't have to pay more than five, six dollars a piece for them. Uh, you Google the Zettler A Z nine seven nine, and you're gonna find them. Okay. And then you just need a, a toggle switch here off your ignition source. So this is great to have when you're doing, let's say, a watering, water crossing and you want to shut the fans off completely. All right. And then have it allum get an illuminated one so that way you know it's on when you turn on your ignition, the system is on. Uh, use 10 gauge wire for all of these. Um, and actually just for the fan coming off of here would be 10 gauge and 10 gauge from your battery source use a 50 amp fuse that's what I've been using I haven't had any problem at all okay and then uh, all of these wires here for let's say your grounding that can be like 16 gauge even will work just fine there's no load really on this. Like all of the, from your ignition source, your toggle switch here, that's can, all can be like 16 gauge, it would be just fine. And then what you're going to do on your, for your AC, you're going to, you can just splice into the wire that goes to the AC pump. Okay. And bring that over here to your 86 terminal. And you can see here that you got the, the 85 is to ground, and so is the 87. And then these, just do it exactly like this, other than these two are switched. And you're going to be fine. So how this works is, once you reach the 195, 196 degrees, low side is going to kick on, this relay here. And if it goes above that up to your 215 or so it's going to shut this one off 
turn this one on. Okay, and if you turn on your AC, it is automatically going to go into high speed. Kicking on that relay there. Okay. Um, I'll post the part numbers on the description so you can see all those. And if you got any questions, just ask. Hopefully this here, I'll shoot up here nice and close so you guys can get a really good close view of this. Let's see. And the bottom ones down here, those are your 30. The top ones are 87. You'll notice that this is the only one that you need a five pole relay on, which has the 87A. If you get ones that have all five poles, that's no big deal. You're just not hooking these two up. It won't make any difference. But you do need for the high speed, you're gonna need an 87A. So what's happening is the power is coming over here. This is normally closed, going to the low side. Then when that temperature switches and needs the high side, it's going to shut this one off, turn this one on. That's how you're able to actually do this all with just two relays if you didn't have AC, three with AC. All right, hope you guys like it. I know you've been waiting for it. Thanks.